quick like and subscribe if you want this silly doggy to be in your next egg nice intro alpha what is going on everyone prime here back with another pet catchers video so as you can see from the title we're going to be having a part two of everything i don't like about pet catchers so before we get into this of course isaac my man if you're watching this video no hate okay no hate i'm a huge huge supporter i love the game okay i love it so don't don't ban me or do anything you know, of that sort but let's get straight into it y'all um i don't really have much to talk about because the majority of the things i have written down here in my notebook was like stuff that i i just came up with on my own and a couple things that um senpai also provided to me so i'm just gonna quickly go down them down the list and you guys let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think about it if you guys agree with it or if you guys have anything you want to add you can put it in the comments and i'll be sure to check it out okay so the first thing i wanted to go over is so with the pets you guys when it comes to giving treats to your secrets i feel like it should be a lot easier than having to keep clicking in and out so one of the main things that i i do a lot when having to click in and out with my pets is when i'm constantly using what is it void scrolls i'm constantly using void scrolls to get rid of a charm and then go back and do the radioactive and then put one on back and forth or if it's like just um, what is it which one is it uh just like switching randomizing the rolls which one is that one that's just the mystery scroll right yeah so i i think that when you're in you know this phase of giving them a treat i feel like the majority of your things should already be down here so you don't have to keep clicking on clicking your thing choosing you know have it having that little load in i, I think that's just a little too much i feel like because with all you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been in my same positions where you're trying to get a certain charm because you don't have them here already. So you literally just, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, using your void scrolls, going back, to using the radioactive um, jelly and trying to get the right charm that you want. Again, um, I just kind of would like everything just to already be here, ready for me to click and feed, click and feed, click and feed. You know, I'll, I just want less clicking. Oh, the other thing, cut that, cut that. The next thing is this so i don't think i'll be able to do it right now okay so i can't do it right now but whenever i'm full with golden tickets it still allows me to buy them i feel like it shouldn't do that because there's been a couple times where i go into habit going over here to buy the golden ticket tickets because i use them all up playing the robot claw and sometimes i'm not paying attention i just load into the game i go in here and i spam it i spam it and then you know i buy four of them for no reason and i didn't need them in the first place i feel like if your you know certain item is already stocked up like it's to this limit of its inventory then it should you know have some sort of you know warning something to, to block you from buying it i don't know that's just me that's just me it's probably it's probably a little small thing you know probably no one really makes that same mistake like i do but i feel like that should just be something you know oh this one i guess this one i'm not really too sure if this really applies too much but like i feel like we should really be uh, updated a little more when it comes to updates just really keeping us updated on when when they're coming out what time because like a lot of these updates they just drop randomly they drop randomly like when it comes to time and i feel like it would just be a lot better for the community and for the people um if we know exactly when when uh these updates are coming out like that's i think one of the main things i really liked about my restaurant when i was playing that game is that he would have an exact date time and everything of when these updates would be coming out so i'd be you know like waking up five in the morning ready to to play these updates and it just helped a lot you know especially for the youtubers and content creators you were just always ready to make content and when you see that sort of thing from the creators like showing you you know showing that they really care about everyone who's playing the game if it's just the regular players or if it's the content creators like myself it just shows us shows us a little bit you know i, I respect it and i'll be like you know what i'm gonna keep playing this game even if it dies because of the respect that he has for everyone in this community this next thing i'm sure everyone hates this i'm sure everyone does but not being allowed to trade in pri private servers i don't understand that i think that's the stupidest thing ever i i do not understand why they have that i don't know if they're trying to you know avoid duping like people who are duping they, they know it's wrong all right they don't care if it's in a vip or if it's in a public 
Okay, I don't know if putting a VIP was trying to prevent people from duping and, you know, have to be forced to go into public. But trust me, if they're going to dupe, they don't give a rat's ass who's watching. <laughs> okay, so please give us trading and VIPs, please. This next thing, Senpai actually, I actually told me this one. The last game that I played that actually had this was Pet Sim X, and it was a trading plaza. All right, trading plaza. It's crazy how they actually don't already have one, especially when Rumble Studios, you know, being known from their previous game, Bubblegum Simulator, was very popular because of its trading community. That's really the only thing that made BGS pop off was because of, you know, the trading that people were able to do and collect all these rare items and be able to trade back to back to, you know, work your way up to better pets, better hats, better stuff, you know? And not having a trading plaza and its second game that's basically you know a you know a spin-off of bubblegum simulator is it's it's wild to me honestly it's it's wild they they do not have a trading plaza because again that's the main reason why everybody is playing this game not only because it's made by a very well-known uh you know roblox um game creator but because it's made by the people who created bubblegum simulator and everyone loves trading and that's why they they're playing this game i mean i can promise you that i mean tell me if i'm wrong in the comments but that's the reason i started playing but yeah trading plaza we need a trading plaza that would just be so good because then like it, it makes it really hard when uh, people are really wanting to tr uh, trade and you know they're not having the best of luck in discord so it would just be so convenient that people can just go into the plaza and know that everyone in that's in the plaza are active they're actually playing their game and they're not afk because most people in Publix, they're afk they're not playing the game all right they're afk they're probably watching netflix or taking a damn shower or something so having a trading plaza which is it's just it's a no-brainer honestly at this point so that would be amazing an amazing update uh, so this little thing kind of just goes with a lot of the small things that they had in bubblegum simulator that just made the game a little more interactive and made more goals for people to you know just made gave the players more of an incentive to to grind the game more and that was just like titles you know when it came to titles when it came to just better secrets you know but it was really just like titles i really like how they had different titles and also limited ones that you can earn um in bubblegum simulator so like things like that and little small ones that they had in bgs uh it would be nice to bring them back i should bring them back you know of course i'm not saying to you know replicate the exact same pace you know i'm not asking you to copy and paste but what i'm asking is you know bring back what people loved because if it worked why not do it again right and i'm just gonna throw this in one time because i did it in my last one and it was the main argument that i did in my episode one of everything i hate about pet catchers but it's the fishing it's the fishing all right i said it once i'm gonna say it again it's too much fishing in this game okay we need more interactive things in the game that has to do with our pets all right more maybe more mini games that have to do with our pets i'm, I'm not sure like i you know i'm, I'm not a content creator i'm i mean i, I don't I'm not content creator. So I'm, I'm not a i'm not a roblox game creator you know i don't really have that creative mind to to know what to do with my damn pets but i'm sure they do all right i'm sure they do so that's something that's not fishing please like i don't know oh, and this next thing again it was already something that was very early in bubblegum simulator and again i'm not sure why the, it wasn't already default i'm not sure why it didn't just come with the game at beta but trade history don't know why they don't have it not sure again I'm, it, it really it really confuses me on why they don't have a uh trade a trade history it's, it's crazy but yeah, it would be really nice to bring back the trade history and easy secrets, y'all. Easy secrets. Um, they're they've already like you know three updates in. Um, they've already added a ton of secrets, and the majority of them are just really not worth as much. Like, I I thought that you know they would have you know going into pet catchers from Bubblegum Simulator, they would have you know balanced the easy secrets from the harder secrets a lot better than they did before because whenever they introduced the easy secrets in the bubble gum it kind of ruined everything and a lot of things were just super super easy to get and a lot of you know the new secrets that came from after the easy secrets were just useless they're worthless to everybody i mean stats wise you know no but like you know when it comes to values and people actually trading it just just wasn't didn't, didn't feel the same didn't feel the same anymore and i feel like it's worse now i definitely feel like it's worse now because when i was playing bubblegum simulator for like the year two years I don't even know how long it was, two years or something, I was playing bubblegum. I think I only hatched like two secrets, y'all. Sorry, <laughs> it was probably like five. Five or six secrets. 
I hatched in that game in over two years. I've only been playing this game for like three weeks now. And I've hatched a lot of secrets. Okay, not these, but like, I think I've hatched over just from hatching eggs, just from hatching eggs, guys. Maybe 10, maybe 10, okay? In three weeks, compared to six in like two years. And I had over like 3 million eggs hatched, 3 million. I only have 500,000 hatched. Either I'm extremely lucky or they're just way too easy to catch and hatch. And also with the mini games, like I, I feel like the mini games and the bosses, I think they're good. I think they're good. I feel like the amount of times I have played this, I have gotten a good amount of the dog cats that I, I guess deserved for me the amount of times that I've played it. I honestly don't think I have any complaints for the mini games and the bosses you get your secrets from i feel like those are accurate and those are good but when it comes to just hatching we gotta make it harder we honestly really have to make it harder because people shouldn't be having so many secrets especially this like what is even this what is even this i shouldn't have this many i really shouldn't i really shouldn't have this many like it's insane how many secrets people have on this other thing i guess this can oh, oh my gosh cut that so this last thing uh, this, they could implement sort of the same concept with other things that requires you to click a lot. And by that, I mean, giving an option to max your pet. People hate it when you have to keep clicking your damn feed button to level them up, even though you have enough or the wild bears, you know, you have enough, you know, you don't care about spending it. But we have to keep clicking the, you know, until level and it just takes forever and ever and ever and ever. Why isn't there an option where I can just go until max, you know, until max, not until level, until max. I want to max it out. Why do I have to keep clicking this, you know, uh, but that's just me. And again, that, that, again, that can go with the same concept with anything else, I guess, that people want to people want to do, like with the ruins, you know, you add on uh, you add on a ruin. Let's go with let's go with like deadly. You know, I, I want to have a button to where I can go um, until level four, you know, I don't have to want to keep clicking, even though it's not a lot of clicking when it comes to the ruins. But you guys, you guys get what I'm trying, trying to say. You know, it's just I want to have that button where it can just make the game a little quicker, just just, just a little quicker, you know, because it just gets annoying, it gets annoying. These little small things. Trust me, when they change things like that in the game, it really does make a difference. And just people like it people like it. well that was about all i don't want to make this video too long i know there's a lot of yapping it's already at 14 minutes so hopefully the boy senpai uh, can drop this down to like 12 11 minutes but if you guys watch this far i really do appreciate you guys we are so 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 close to reaching 3,000 watch time hours um, so we can get monetized so again i appreciate all you guys for actually watching my videos because the videos is where the watch time hours actually come from so once again i really really thank you guys for watching them uh, and again if you guys have anything you guys want to add on you guys can always comment down below in the comments. I'll be sure to check them out and read them. And if this video does good again, because the first one, uh, I think I got like 1400 views. So that was pretty dope. I and mean, that's the only reason why I'm making a part two. And because I have a lot to say. And you know, if the videos continue to do good, then I'll keep coming out with new episodes of what I don't like about pet catchers and hoping that Isaac, like I kind of don't want him to see the videos, but then at the same time, I kind of want him to see the videos because like these would be really nice if he actually did make the changes, you know, or, you know, kind of work cut around the bush somehow if you didn't want to do the exact change. Uh, but yeah. Besides that, uh, I got my Discord down below if you guys want to join that. We do giveaways on pick catchers on there every now and then. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, hit that sub. We do a lot of content on here. We do streams, giveaway streams. They're kind of fun sometimes. Really cool. People really enjoy them. So recommend you guys to stop by. Besides that, it has been Prime. Prime. You ready? Him? And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Hey, yo. Pee pee poo poo check. Pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo.